man, I love getting out on the grill. And it was really fun this beautiful mild summer of 2015. And though it might seem like a grilling routine never changes, one way that it was really enhanced for me this year was with the Grill Timer Watch. A surprisingly simple and intuitive watch with an innovation in the bezel design that is set up specifically for grilling aficionados. So the Grill Timer isn't just a fun novelty because of this insert, it actually is a decently made watch for 50 bucks. So let's just talk through the specifications so you can have some sense that this is actually a decently made item in addition to just being something whimsical and offbeat. So it's obviously in the Submariner style of case, it's kind of a, a transitional Submariner style with a 40 millimeter size, 20 millimeter width of lugs about 12 millimeters thick give or take you know I didn't measure it from the uh, the raised crystal here another kind of Rolexy feature that is obviously useful for this very small date aperture and the date aperture on this watch is appropriate because hopefully you're gonna be you know checking your expiration dates on your meat and etc on the back here which is a solid threaded case pack we get some other uh, delectable specifications we get that this is a fully stainless steel case and it really is a nice little case definitely a nice combination of brushed and polished surfaces and this case back has a little bit of depth and texture and I like that but the thing that is really appealing to me is actually that you have this uh, Japanese quartz movement and it's a Seiko movement and to me this is the uh, selling point of the watch that not only are you going to have this kind of fun and you know little bit of innovation in the bezel but you're actually going to be having a watch that's going to have a reliable movement that is probably not going to need super frequent battery replacements and if for some reason it ever broke in the future it's going to be an easy uh, movement to get replaced. So definitely a nice move with the little griddle people putting a Seiko movement in here. That's a very solid choice. The dial itself you can obviously see that we have applied indices filled with loom and a big bold red seconds hand. This is the sort of thing that it, it honestly looks really cheap to me. It looks like a fake Rolex but it is very readable and so I can understand the reason to go with this choice. It is also probably fairly understated compared to a lot of the watches that guys in kitchens are, are wearing in my opinion. <laughs> uh, so, so it wasn't a bad design choice overall. The kind of Submariner theme is carried even down to the details. You got a little bit of chamfering here and you've got a nice crown here that is actually signed with the uh, little griddle logo. It is a, a non-threaded crown so this is only water resistant to 10 meters. It's the sort of thing that you would only want to um, be using probably above above water. So uh, you could probably dive off your pontoon if you're grilling in your boat but for the most part this is a wash that is meant to be kept above surface as it says here obviously it's a uh, sauce resistance. You can see that it has a two-piece style Zulu strap, nice and thick. It honestly arrived a little stiff, in my opinion, a little uncomfortable, but after wearing it for a couple weeks off and on and keeping it in a wash case where it was, you know, in the shape of a wrist on a pillow, it is definitely broken in now and definitely comfortable. I would say that it's probably a step above a Timex strap, but nothing extraordinary. My only real ding against the watch is the actual crystal. This is a mineral crystal and uh, it's hard to tell but I've actually managed to scuff it already around the uh, 6 o'clock position here. You see my fingerprints all over it. It is a flat crystal. This is the sort of crystal that being raised the way it is, this is inevitably going to chip and, and uh, get beat up. But for a $50 watch, it's probably going to be mostly used very lightly in a grilling setting. I don't think that's a really big deal, but it is my one nitpick against the design. The other, uh, maybe not design nitpick, but just comment on uh, the actual execution of the watches. When I received this, the bezel insert was actually not glued in very well and it did fall out when I was taking all the plastic and stuff off of it. For a $50 watch, it's not like a deal breaker. I'm not going to send it back. I just simply put it in there, push it down nice and firmly, and it hasn't come loose since then. But that is uh, another factor to consider when you're buying this watch. That If you're a, a real uh, fit and finish snob, this is definitely not a watch for you. This is just a watch for a uh, grill enthusiast and uh, maybe someone who will appreciate the classic lines of a Rolex Submariner. 
40 millimeters is a near perfect size on the wrist and that's no surprise to anyone who collects watches and so this watch is definitely very comfortable and with that quartz movement it weighs almost nothing. So let's talk about the bezel here which is definitely the star of the show. It's of course a Rolex style unidirectional bezel, spring loaded bezel so you could easily pop it off if you need to replace a spring at some point or clean it out if it got really dirty. It's an aluminum insert with a raised loom pip. That loom pip is especially nice if you have kind of messy hands. It's easy to just find everything. We've got the classic Rolex style scallop bezel here which is also very easy to grip and very usable. Now of course the main feature here is this gradient scale for different recipes and the way that it works is basically you just set the beginning of the gradient at your minute hand and then just follow through to a certain degree of doneness which is detailed in depth in the instructions that are included with the grill timer. Now you might think well look this is you know hardly any recipes on a little bezel like this how could you you know possibly find use for this well the thing that's nice is that uh, a lot of these rough estimates are basically compatible with other recipes so for example the New York strip can be also used with pork chops or beef fillet um, another example that they provide is shrimp is also roughly equal to cooking scallops or lobster and there are other possibilities that are detailed in the instructions so why would you use something that's as inaccurate as this? Well, basically, I use this as a complement to a thermometer. Thermometer, of course, is really the way that you're going to precisely be estimating the level of doneness on meat. And it's important, actually, as a safety item with, like, chicken, for example. And so this watch is going to be mostly just a non-digital reminder of, oh, yeah, I should go check and make sure that this steak is flipped or I should... Go, you know, check the temperature on these breasts one more time. You know, it's the kind of thing that uh, it's nice not having to pull out my phone and just having this watch on my wrist. I actually leave this in my garage, and when I'm grilling, I just uh, throw it on, uh, switch out my whatever watch I'm wearing. You know, don't need to get that leather strap on my uh, nice watch all filthy, especially when this watch is uh, so comfortable and so effortless to wear. So I decided just to include this because I get lots of requests for affordable watches. I also get lots of requests to do watches in the Submariner Homage style. I'm not going to typically do a Submariner Homage watch because I think that if you really want a Submariner, you're going to be happy with a Submariner. But this is really doing something totally different. This is for someone who isn't serious about getting that, you know, $2,000, $4,000, $6,000 Rolex. And they're much more interested in just having the general style, having some fun. And uh, it would also be great for someone who's just a cooking enthusiast and wants a nice, easy alternative to some of the digital timers that are out there. So let me know in the comments below if this is the kind of watch you would ever wear. Are you enough of a grill enthusiast that you'd spend 50 bucks on something like this? No doubt it's kind of a novelty. Do you think it's a gimmick? I'd love to hear your comments below. Thanks a lot for watching, and if you haven't subscribed, I'd really appreciate it. Thanks a lot.